Hello everyone, Duchess here. I'm coming to you with an update on the redecorating of my sewing and sitting room. And in that video, um, I talked about uh, putting um, some bookshelves on the wall above my sewing machines. And it occurred to me that since I had this old chest, which is from the 1960s, that I could repurpose it as a bookshelf. And the plan was to take out all the drawers and, um, and even the slots that hold them, um, taking some of those out and then putting dividers in, and that would be the bookshelves. But then I thought perhaps I could do one better. That I could take the drawers out and I could connect them and make the bookshelves. And actually it works out quite well. And um, let me show you exactly what I'm wanting to do here. So the plan is to take out the drawers and this would be the first drawer and then take out the second one and connecting the drawers where you now have your instant bookshelf and it just would be a matter of connecting the two, nailing them, and using a strong bonded glue. And this is going to work out perfect for me to put all of my sewing books and some of my sewing accoutrements in. Um, so I can do the same with the bottom two. And I'm not really sure what I want to do with the shell of the chest, but I figured this would be so much, um, so economical, um, to do it this way. I've been shopping around trying to find bookshelves and I cannot seem to find exactly what I'm wanting and what what I have um, found that seems to be or seem to be at least close to what I wanted um, it was going to run between a hundred to two hundred dollars. So I thought um, what would be one of the best things to do is to just repurpose the chest and just put the drawers together and create my bookshelves. So this is what I plan to do. So once this is this project is complete, I'll come back to you with an update so you can see the results. And I really think this is going to work out just fine. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, as I said, it's going to just require stripping the paint and taking the hardware off and connecting the drawers. And I think this is really going to work out fabulously. So I'll come back to you with an update on it so you can see the results and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.